Hello, folks, and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party, and let's try the Swapper. The Swapper is an indie puzzle game where the mechanic is you basically create clones of yourself, like so, and you can actually switch to that clone and back. You can have up to four clones at a time. I'm about 45 minutes to an hour in. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was going to play longer, but I kind of wanted to avoid spoilers, so went ahead and started a bit earlier here. You landed on this space station planet. I actually think it's a planet or an asteroid. And it's one of those deals where there's no one around, at least it seems. And you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. You do have a map, a Metroid-esque map. You can see the places that I have been to. In fact, I think I'm heading somewhere I've been. Let's check. The ship, do you know where it is? Did the Watchers take it? No, no, mindless. How could they? Okay. Can't open this console. You keep running into these consoles that require encryption orbs. And part of the puzzles, basically getting the orbs, you have to solve puzzles to do that. Okay, I've actually been in here before. I think... Yeah, there are these stones that kind of talk to you. I want to go somewhere that I haven't been. At first, it's very linear. You just kind of go in one direction and solve the puzzle, then move to the next area. However, it does definitely get a little interesting. I'm going to assume I can't touch that. Okay, I can touch that. This is a new area. Sure looks like it. I really, really, really like the atmosphere. I, I like the ambient sounds. You're hearing kind of more music now, but starting off, it's way more ambient. Let's uh, see, what is this, a memory terminal? Let's go to that first. So we're gonna drop down. We're gonna find out where this takes us. Ah, we don't want to do that, okay. So let's go ahead and hop in these. These basically push you forward. These are, think of these as an escalator you can't stop. Okay, so oops. When you shoot your, or when you bring your gun up to create your clone, you right click and you just move your mouse around to determine where you want your clone at. It actually slows down time. As you can see, the particles on the right are going a lot slower, and then as soon as I let it go, it goes back to normal speed. Now, you can only have four clones at a time, so keep that in mind. Let's hop back in here. We want to go ahead and slow it down, create one, and then immediately left click to teleport to it. Hop on over here, and let's grab this memory terminal. Dream Diary, Log 7. Day 7, woke up tired, recalled an image of a balloon, then distracted by radio. Day 8, dreamed about my 13th birthday. The clown turned into a horse. Day 9, didn't sleep. Day 10, my birthday again. This time, the clown turned into some kind of stone statue. Day 11, dreamed the laser drill down at the excavation site was trying to talk me into doing something I didn't want to do. Okay, so that guy sounds like he might be going crazy, or he just has very bizarre dreams. Hopefully we shall run into a quest here very shortly. These lights here, they make that noise. If you have any clones out, it will automatically destroy them as soon as you walk through. Which I'm sure will play a part in the puzzle. Puzzles eventually. So, this circle here is the encryption sphere that we need to get. These little rectangles with the yellow lights are the switches. Now, these lights up here, the lights are important. Blue lights means I cannot create a clone in that. However, I can still uh, transfer to a clone if a clone is already there. Red lights mean I can tr click create a clone in the light, but I cannot transfer. And then violet lights means I can't do either. So we need to figure out how to push all three of these buttons. When we push this button, this blue light is going out. So, here's what we want to do. Right off the bat, we want to get one of our clones to push the button. There we go. Now we can create a clone here. And if you need, there's several times that you very quickly need to create a clone and then teleport to them. For example, you can move up a very long shaft by creating a clone and then immediately transferring to it, 
and then creating another clone even higher, transferring to it, create another clone even higher, transfer to it, etc. Uh, the easiest way I found to do that is hold right click to create this and then release right click and then immediately click it again and then left click. That way almost no time has passed. So now I've transferred up here. I don't really need know if I needed to do that or not. But what we're going to do, we're kind of experimenting here. This is blind to me. See, one of these doors opened up. So this opens that and this one opens the other one so and i accidentally ran my guys into the light which killed them we might need to do that again so we need to get both of these done however well first off i fell off oh i guess it didn't create destroyed them but now they're destroyed so let's do that again we're going to create we're going to destroy that blue light we're going to drop one guy there Hmm, how do we want to do this? We need both of them pushed down. I'm assuming this little contraption is going to play into it somehow. So let's get him back. Ah, we can move. Whoa, here we go. Ah, all right. Now let's switch to him. Go back. Hmm. I can go just make another one. We'll make him right on the edge. So now, uh, hmm. of course, all the other puzzles I was doing very easily until we got to this point, which I knew was going to happen. All right, so good name. Now, to reclaim your clones, you can either run into them or just go to this light, and I want to reset. Also, if they fall to their deaths, which uh, tends to happen a lot, especially because I find it amusing, then you will also reclaim it that way. So... We're almost there. Now we can create a clone here. I think we're going to have to watch the spacing. So let's get him over here. Get him all the way to the wall. Transport back to this dude. What we really need to happen, we need one guy over here. Wait, why don't we just... Alright, let's do this. Free him here. Make another guy there. So now the doors are open. The problem now, though is that we now have to get through but we're out of clones right we've used up all of our clones otherwise we could just port all the way through so this probably is not going to work i teleport to the guy in the middle damn it i was hoping to drop him on me to you despawn him but that did not work so we need to use either one less clone or we need to have him fall on me. See, I don't think this is gonna work now because yeah, they're out of they're out of sync, so we'll reset it. We need to make our guy right here. Put him right on the edge again. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Oh, because I'm I'm still in the light. Okay. Again, I knew this was gonna happen. I've been blowing through these puzzles. And then the very first one I have struggle with is the one I'm recording. We need to get him over there. Run all over here quickly. But see, we've still got this extra guy because the minute... Wait, wait. There we go. Okay. So now let's... Okay, okay. Now we'll make the guy over here teleport to him. Drop down. And now we can create warp over. Did I, okay. And there we go. 
Monogon Orb acquired. So yes, as you can see, the puzzles do get a bit tricky. And so far, they've been, honestly, they've been pretty easy. But they've been fun, regardless of how easy they were or were not. Let's go up one floor. I kind of don't want to show you guys a lot of this because I don't want to spoil it with it being a puzzle game. That's kind of the point. All right, let's go in here. We might do one or two more puzzle rooms depending on how long it takes. So far, I've only, again, I've only been playing for a short time, about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and I have quite enjoyed it so far. It's by Facepalm Games. It's normally 15 bucks. If you buy it right now, it's $11, I think. Uh, and I checked how long to beat, and they're saying around three and a half to four hours to beat it. Uh, if you really like puzzle games, I think this is a no-brainer. I really like it, and I I really like the ambience. So here you see we've got the violet light. I can't create clones here, nor can I teleport to them. There's the orb, and we could create a guy there. We could create a guy there, but it's not going to do us any good because, as you can see, we can create him, but I cannot. Oops. Damn it, I'm gonna suck him up, you know what I mean. So I put him there, and I can't teleport. I'm left clicking, and it's not letting me, so. Go ahead and suck him away. Now we have three switches here. Let's see what this switch does. This switch gets rid of the blue light on the left side. So, let's just mess around with this. Go ahead and drop a clone. Uh, that, I think that stopped. All right, that's not the blue light on the other side. Okay. Let's actually let's just reset. So drop here. Plop. Uh, we cannot teleport. But what we can do is jump. Wait that yes. We can jump and transport to this guy. Ah oh, damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, let's try it again. I wanna Jump. There we go. Transported to him. Oh. Hmm. Wait, I thought this. All right. So now we can. Now look. As you can see, ah, shit balls. I was trying to show you guys. Just because you're not moving doesn't mean your clone's not going to move. So for example, let's create one here. And I'm stuck on the wall, but I'm still holding left. See, I can still move the clone. That's that is something important that I think some people might. It seems like a, oh, well, no shit kind of a thing, but I think it's one of those things that you don't really think about, but then when you, when it happens, you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, we teleported back. Now he's down, so let's run over. We both switches pushed. Can I? Hmm. So now here is going to be the rub. What happens if... How far can I push this? Guess we'll find out. Go ahead and teleport to him. And make another one. Alright. We're out of... No, we're not out of clones. Nice. Let's teleport. And we got our orb. See, again, that was not too bad. Makes you think, but so far they haven't been... I haven't run into any that were frustrating. The last one, what, not this one, but the one before that was the hardest one I've run into for sure. But I, I didn't feel frustrated. I didn't feel like I was banging my head against the wall. Go ahead and teleport in. Oh, we could have done it either way. Come on, clone buddy. Actually, also when you go through a door, it resets. Hmm. Oh, here's a teleport. Interact with a teleport. Oh, okay. So now we're adding, now we got to think with portals. So we've got this big stone slab here we have to consider now again with the red light we can't we can create a clone but we cannot teleport to it so let's drop him on the switch that raises that but you see the problem here is i can create a clone but i can't transport to it because i'm bathed in red light so what we are going to do is oh all right so get rid of you Let's stand in the teleport and create him. As far to the right as we can. Teleport. Run over. And I think, if I time this right, this should be it. 
Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd that guy go? Oh, I guess when I teleport. Was that the case? Is it when I teleport? He disappears? Yes, it is. Okay, so that adds a slight wrinkle. No problem. We still got this. We have still got this. So we know we want him up there, so let's go ahead and create him. Create our clone, which may be S someday. Come on. Because the main goal here, other than the orb, is to be in here with this door open so that we can create a clone and then teleport to it from inside this tube. So... Well, hmm. Okay, so the, I thought this was going to be easy. And now I have been proven quite wrong. So we ha that's the only way to get that guy up there, right? Is to create him from here. As far as I can tell. So, what's the problem? Problem is we need to teleport, but down here we're in the red. So, how do we get up here? It's to drop down. But we can't, because the reds are everywhere. The damn reds are everywhere. Freaking commies. Can I make over here? Well, I can, but making it is not a problem. Hmm, this is an interesting one. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Teleport. I think I was maybe overthinking this one. Ooh, but it takes a while for that to come up. Make that. Ah, yes. Okay. And, and I did this before while I was messing around off camera. So the problem here, and I got to talk kind of, kind of fast because we're still moving just slow, is the stone takes forever to come up. And we have to stay in this thing so that we can port back over. So what we'll do is create a clone way over here and then teleport to it. Bam. So now we got plenty of time. We can unstop space. Damn it. I really do wish there was a way to... Okay, let's make the clone. And then port. And grab our orb. Easy peasy. Definitely easy. Now there are hidden areas that you can go to. Uh, sometimes they're only available after you've completed a mission. Uh, there was one area I went to that uh, the floor, there was a a long drop and there was blue lights at the bottom so there was no way for me to uh, teleport or drop into it but then once you get all your objectives all the lights go off so oh you got to be careful too because you you can fall to your death uh, but the checkpoints are very very plentiful so that should not be a problem but yeah you you do want to look out for hidden areas uh, what you find are the I want to try something real quick. See if I can go further in here. Nope. All right, fine. But you can find additional logs, which kind of tell you what's going on. Basically, story pieces. If you're into that, definitely look for them. I know I enjoy things uh, like that. So that is the Swapper. Definitely check this out. I don't think they have a demo right now. But honestly, from the look of, even just from the short uh, Let's Try, you've got a pretty good idea of how this game works. Again, I really like it. If you like puzzle games at all, especially with it being $12, I absolutely think it's worth at least a look. I really like the mechanic. I can see it being used in more useful ways. The only other mechanic that I found that I didn't show you was a pull mechanic where you can pull boxes. That has not been used a whole lot. Again, I'm only about, well, now I'm about an hour, hour and a half in. But yeah, definitely check it out. The Swapper. I will put links to the game below. You can either buy it from the Faceball, Facepalm Games website directly from them, which you should if you can. You can also buy it from Steam. However, if you buy it from Facepalm, they also give you a Steam key. So if at all possible, just so that the indie developers get all of your money, buy it from their website. But Either way, definitely check this out. I really enjoyed it. I really like the graphic, the graphic looks. I really like the uh, the um, ambient sound. This the environment is great. And again, I didn't show you a lot because I don't want a whole lot of spoilers. Because I think this is a great game, uh, especially if you're discovering it for the first time. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you've played the game or if you buy it and you like it or if you don't like it, whatever, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys think of this. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.